Hi, I'm David Baxter. And I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Rowan Cabarrus Community College. We're in the South Campus today. We're going a little later in the show. We're going to show you the research campus as well. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. But we've got a lot of other information on today's show. So grab that pen and paper so you want to jot that contact info down. All kinds of holiday events going on. So uh, sit back and enjoy the show. This week we are visiting Rowan Cabarrus Community College. The 24-acre South Campus is conveniently located in Cabarrus County at the junction of I-85 and C-73 and Trinity Church Road. Rowan Cabarrus Community College serves over 22,000 students on an annual basis. The class of 2013 had graduates ranging in age from 17 to 70. They offer seven fully online degree programs, many industry recognized certifications, as well as ongoing educational opportunities for police officers and firefighters. When the center first opened at Zors in 1963, it offered seven pre-employment education programs and a variety of short courses for adults. Rowan Cabarrus Community College was the first multi-campus community college in the state of North Carolina. While this is now a common practice, this reflects the college's commitment to a collaborative education from an early stage. Now, 50 years later, Rowan Cabarrus has educated over 600,000 individuals and has developed the delivered programs to meet the demands of our local community. There are a wide variety of students enrolled in the school, ranging from juniors and seniors in high school who partner through the Career College Promise Program to middle-aged and older adults. The college provides approximately 40 programs of study in business, health and public services, and industrial and engineering technologies. They also offer the Associates in Arts, Associate in Fine Arts, and Associate in Science degree programs for those students who intend to transfer to a four-year college or university. The South Campus showcases a commitment to the fine arts education with a new Mac Lab for digital design and beautiful art studios. Whether you're fresh out of high school or seeking to completely reinvent your career goals, Rowan Cabarrus Community College offers broad and dynamic options. For more information about Rowan Cabarrus Community College, visit rccc.edu or call 704-216-7222. Now, the Reed's Gold Mine is panning out a little Christmas cheer. That's going to be on Saturday, December the 7th. The mine's going to be open from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. And this is their annual Christmas celebration. There's going to be all kinds of things. They got choirs, they got music, crafts, tours, all kinds of things talking about Christmas traditions. And hey, the good part, mission is free and it's open to the public. For more information on Christmas at Reed Gold Mine, that's on Saturday, December the 7th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Just visit readmine.com or you can just pick up the phone and call 704-721-4653. A great local favorite event is coming up. It's on Thursday, December 5th, and that's at 7 p.m. And it is the Holly Day Folly. Oh, and if fun. you've never seen it, it's a show that features your favorite holiday music and fun skits performed by our community's most talented older adults. Plus, Channel 22 own David Baxter <laughs> will MC the event. What? what? Okay. That'll be fine. Ta ta you've been seen it twice. Yeah, this is the third time. And there's always a song and dance involved. <laughs> well, we'll so see. now we'll I'm see. pinning you to it. <laughs> yeah. you got to come yeah, up we'll with a see. song we'll and see. dance. We'll see here. Okay. Tickets will be sold at the door at a cost of $6 for adults and $4 for children. Pick up an advanced ticket and save a dollar off the ticket price. They're available at the Cabarrus County Senior Centers, which are located at 331 Corbin Avenue Southeast in Concord, or of course at 8615 Park Drive in Mount Pleasant. You can also call and order via the telephone using your credit card. Just dial up 704-920-3484. Proceeds of the uh, Holiday Follies go to benefit the Cabarrus County Senior Games, which is a great program that encourages oh, yeah. health and wellness in older adults. For more information about Holiday Follies at 7 p.m. on Thursday, December 5th at Mount Pleasant High School, which is located at 700 Walker Road, call 704-920-3484 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Now, you won't want to miss the holiday happenings, and that's on Saturday, December the 7th, and that's from 11 a.m. until 1 p.m. That's in downtown Concord. Now, a highlight of this year is the gingerbread candy hunt. That sounds, that sounds good. Children visit over 20 participating 
Just children? Okay, well, anyway. Sorry, David. Oh, no. You're going to have to get your own candy my own and candy. your own gingerbread Oh, bed. man. Okay. That's downtown Concord, the sh different shops, restaurants, and the galleries. And you can gather all these edible decorations. That's pretty cool. And they'll use these treats to build a miniature gingerbread house to enjoy throughout the holidays. Now, reservations are suggested for this. For more information on the holiday happenings on Saturday, December the 7th, downtown Concord, just call 704 784 4208 or visit concorddowntown.com. Now, here's something that really appeals to me it's an uh, organizational class. Oh, yes, you I can, can learn see that. how to organize all your things and get ready for the holidays. And it's at the Concord Library on Thursday, December 5th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. You can jo join Joanna Clausen, an organizational specialist. Mm. For more information on how to stay organized through the holidays of this program on Thursday, December 5th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m., call 704-920-2053 or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library. Now, the Harrisburg Christmas tree lighting, that's going to take place on Friday, December the 6th. It's going to be at 6 p.m. This annual event takes place at Veterans Park, and that's at 4100 Main Street in Harrisburg, right there on the town square. Bring your family out. You can enjoy all kinds of things like horse and wagon rides. They have local entertainment. Actually, I even a live nativity scene, and that's put on by the Harrisburg United Methodist Church. And, and I hear that Mr. and Mrs. Claus is going to be there as well. They are very busy this They time are of very year. busy. And there will also be hot chocolate, cider, kettle corn, crafts, and all this type of stuff available for purchase. For more information on the Harrisburg tree lighting, that's on Friday, December the 6th, 6 p.m., just visit harrisburgnc.org or call 704-455-5614. Get ready for a joyful small town holiday experience. It's the Mount Pleasant Christmas Parade, which begins at 11 a.m. on Saturday, December 14th. The parade route starts at the Mount Pleasant Middle School and then it makes its way down Main Street, turning left at the square and then turning right onto Washington Street before ending at the Town Hall. For details about the Mount Pleasant Christmas Parade at 11 a.m. on Saturday, December 14th, call Mount Pleasant Town Hall at 704-436-9803 or visit townofmountpleasant.org. And I tell you what, you want to see a nighttime parade? Well, then the Very only cool. nighttime parade in this area is right around the corner. That's also on December the 14th, and that begins at 6 p.m. It is the Kannapolis Christmas Parade, and it's all lit up. It is really pretty. All the floats, the bands, all that. You said it's right around the corner, but I bet it's right around several corners. Well, it is around several corners. Yeah, I do the loop through Kannapolis. <laughs> now, these colorful lights of each entry add all kinds of excitement to this parade. And it travels down Main Street to First Street and then to West Avenue. For more information about the Kannapolis Christmas Parade beginning at 6 p.m. on Saturday, December the 14th, just call 704-932-3808 or visit KannapolisChristmas.com. If you're looking to step into a winter wonderland, you're not going to want to miss the activities at Village Park in Kannapolis at this Christmas season. Located at 700 West C Street, right there in downtown Kannapolis, it's a celebration of lights open daily from 6 to 9 p.m. starting on Saturday, November 30th, and that runs all the way through December 30th. Kids of all ages, David, this includes you, will be That's able so to pretty. visit Santa in his studio <laughs> or take a ride on the Winterland Express to experience the 12 days of Christmas. Tickets for the Winterland Express are just $2. And you won't want to miss the Nativity Night on Saturday, December 21st from 4 to 8 p.m. This will include live nativity scene, choir music, a petting zoo, pony rides, vendors, and other family activities. So for more information regarding the Winter Wonderland Express or Nativity Night at Village Park, visit KannapolisChristmas.com or call 704-920-4343. Now this year is the fourth annual Speedway Christmas celebration. That's at Charlotte Motor Speedway. And that's open daily from de now, I assume, through December the 30th. And that's from 6 to 10 p.m. And this drive-through course features over 3 million holiday lights and 800 displays. The infield Christmas Village includes a petting zoo, a Bethlehem Village, and it features live animals in there, and a vendor displays. Hopefully not alpacas. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right in my eye. <laughs> 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 
I know. I, I, maybe we can talk to him. Okay. And photos with Santa. In addition, the Christmas movies will be played on the world's largest 8D TV every Friday and Saturday night during the show. Now, admission into the Speedway Christmas is $20 per car when the Christmas Village is open and $15 on nights villages close. Now, group rates for vans and buses are also available. For more information about Speedway Christmas at the Charlotte Motor Speedway, visit charlottemotorspeedway.com or call 1-800-455-3267. Are you looking to brush up on your cooking skills just in time for the holidays? The Cabarrus Health Alliance Wellness Kitchen offers holiday cooking class on Monday, December 9th from 6 to 7.30 p.m. The fun and interactive demonstrations teach healthy ways to prepare some of your holiday favorites. And I bet there are some samples as well. Registration is $5 a person and is open to adults and children who are age 5 and older. For more information or to register for the holiday cooking class on Monday, December 9th from 6 to 7.30 p.m., call 704-920-1303. Well, maybe you haven't given your Santa, your list to Santa yet. Well, maybe older adults can join in all the fun at the annual Seniors Christmas Party. And that's Tuesday, December the 10th. And that's from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. That's going to be at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Now, kind of usher in that holiday spirit with everything from door prices. They have entertainment and a visit. Guess who? From Santa Claus? Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Oh, wow. So, I mean, they, they are booked. Okay? You know, David, you would make a great Santa Claus. Yes, I would. Wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I get that confused a lot. That and Kenny Around Rogers. This, that, right. Toss up. Toss up, okay. Individual pre-registration is not required, but group should call ahead and pre-register. So for more information or to register a group for the Seniors Christmas Party, again that's on Tuesday, December the 10th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Just call 704-920-3484 or you just visit CabarrasArena.com. We've had a great time visiting the South Campus yeah. of Rowan Cabarrus Community College. Now let's go check out what's happening at the Research Campus. We're in a biotech lab here at the Rowan Cabarrus Community College building at the North Carolina Research Campus. Cabarrus residents who are looking to advance in technological and healthcare professions can stay on the cutting edge through programs and classes at Rowan Cabarrus Community College's research campus. One of their specialties is market-focused education, customized to meet specific educational and workforce needs. As the need for medical professionals continues to rise, Rowan Cabarrus Community College graduates go on to experience successful careers in nursing, radiography, and dental assistance. The college prides themselves on providing detailed training with state-of-the-art technology and equipment. In industries where technology is constantly evolving, it is this attention to detail that heavily contributes to the student's success and knowledge upon entering the workforce. Rowan Cabarrus Community College is one of three school systems supported by Cabarrus County Government. Approximately 7% of Rowan Cabarrus Community College's operating costs are funded directly by the county budget. Cabarrus County also supplies one-time funds for various school programs and initiatives. In 2012, Cabarrus County contributed $380,000 toward the expansion and renovation of the Student Commons cafeteria and courtyard. This past year, Cabarrus County contributed $200,000 toward the college's energy conservation program. This initiative updated lighting fixtures throughout the school, cutting energy waste, and promoting a greener campus. For more information about Rowan Cabarrus Community College, visit rccc.edu or call 704-216-7222. Well, maybe you have some young ones that would like to be an actor. Uh, you know, and if we do, we got an answer for you or right here. Or some old ones who may overact. <laughs> Just a little. On Wednesday, December the 11th at the Kannapolis Library, it's going to host a theater workshop. Now, the class is open for ages 7 to 12, and participants will learn about the theater, experience a mime, and maybe get out of the box, okay? Improv and dialogue scripts. Now, there's a choice of a 3 to 4 p.m. class or a 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. session. Now, space is limited and registration is required to attend. To register for the theater workshop on Wednesday, December the 11th at Kannapolis Library, just call 704-920-2050. 
or visit cabarrascounty.us slash library. And I want to be an actor. No, that's not right. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh, dear. <laughs> so, for the rest of us, Camp Tan Spencer Park is celebrating Park History Day with a behind-the-scenes look into the park's history and facilities. Participants will meet the ranger at the park office on Saturday, December 7th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Explore the park's amenities while soaking up some history. Hot chocolate and coffee will be provided at each session. There will be no cost for the event. However, pre-registration is required by Thursday, December 5th. For more information, or to register for Park History Day on Saturday, December 7th at Camp T and Spencer Park. Visit cabarriscounty.us slash reserve partner, enter the search phrase Park History in the bar, or call 704-795-4492. Now, young and old are invited to kind of test their disc golf skills at North Cabarrus Park. That's going to be on Saturday, December the 7th from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. And that's located at 760 Orphanage Road. And the park's going to be they're sponsoring a disc golf tournament and a toy drive all at the same time. Now, registration is required. Now, the cost is $20 per team, and it increases to $30 on the day, if not registered, by Friday, December the 6th. Okay, but the cool thing is the cost is waived with a donation simply of a new unopened toy. And if you bring that the day of the tournament, Okay, you don't pay Possibly. anything. There you go. And you know, the Charlotte Observer recently did a whole little profile on our park's mm. disc golf tournament stuff. So go to the Charlotte Observer website yeah. and look that up. Check it out. Now, registration also includes a meal, so you can't beat that. For more information or to register for the disc golf tournament and toy drive on Saturday, December the 7th at North Cabarrus Park, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter golf into the search bar or call 704-782-5600. Zero three. Now, Discovery Place does a little traveling road show. Oh, did you know yes, about yes, that? Yes, I did. So, parents in Cabarrus County, you can get the benefits of their programs without having to drive all the way over there. And they are demonstrating how the eyes and the brain work together, for most people, <laughs> to create <laughs> illusions. And this will happen on Saturday, December 14th from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Concord Library. Learn and participate in some mind-boggling, seemingly impossible puzzles, like that one on the board back there. <laughs> That's right. This is a walk-through program, so you can ex explore it at your own pace. Come and discover that seeing is not always believing. For more information on Discovery Place's special presentation, Brain Teasers and Optical Illusions, on Saturday, December 14th at the Concord Library, Call 704-920-2054 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. Do you like to kind of rummage through all kinds of different things, kind of looking for those hidden gems? Well, then we got something for you because you cannot miss Randy's Antique and Yard Sale. That's at the Cabarrus Arena and that's on Sunday, December the 15th from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. Now the sale offers a wide variety of items, everything from antiques and collectibles to tools and even jewelry. Now, you might discover some treasures or that kind of unique, perfect gift for that special Christmas person, okay? <laughs> or the special Christmas gift for that special person. Either way, you want to work uh -huh. that. Okay, now, adult, uh, adult Are you emission. you rummaging for words? I am rummaging for words here. Adult emission is only just a dollar. For more information on Randy's Countrywide Antique and Yard Sale on Sunday, December the 15th, at the Cabarrus Arena, simply call 704-920-3976 or visit cabarrusarena.com. Now the Old Courthouse Theater has a special presentation up, Twas the Night Before Christmas. And if you haven't already purchased your tickets, now is your chance. You won't want to miss out on the joyful tribute to the holiday. The play will run December 5th through 22nd with shows on Saturdays and Sunday matinees are available. Adult tickets are $15, students and seniors are just $12, and children ages 10 and younger are just $10. For more information regarding showtimes and ticket purchases for Twas the Night Before Christmas, playing December 5th through 22nd, visit oldcourthousetheater.org or call 704-788-2405. Well, you want to get your groove on? Well, then you got to go find out the Fuzz Bucket Music Company. Check them out at Davis Theater. That's on Thursday, December the 19th, 7.30 until 9 p.m. Now, Fuzz Bucket 
<laughs> Fuzz, that's a funny name. Fuzz Bucket Music Company is going to bring a contemporary take, kind of on the old Ed Sullivan show. That's going to, they're going to have ragtime piano, they're going to have country, they're going to have folk, R&B, and even vaudeville. That would be pretty cool. And a barber shop quartet. Yeah, that'd be kind of kind. Now, tickets are $12 for the show. And for more information or to purchase those tickets to the Fuzz Bucket Music Company Variety Show, just visit CabarrasArtsCouncil.org or just pick up that phone call 704-920-2753. To show appreciation for our local veterans, the Cabarrus County Veterans Service Office will host its annual veter Veterans Christmas Breakfast from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m on Thursday, December 19th. It's at the second floor of the Cabarrus County Government Center right in downtown Concord. The event is free and open to all veterans living in Cabarrus County. And I went to it last year, stopped by for a little bit, and it's a great event. There's lots of folks sitting around right. talking, making friends, having a delicious meal. Right. And our veteran staff work so hard on this. So it's a great event. We hope you come on out to it. For more information on the Veterans Christmas Breakfast, that's Thursday, December 19th from 9 to 11 a.m., please contact Cabarrus County Veterans Services at 704-920-2877. Six, nine. Now, if you want to supply a gift and provide a little merry or holiday for a foster child or a disabled adult, maybe a senior citizen or a veteran or just others in need, we'll pick up a tag from the Wendy Ganey Memorial Christmas Tree. And much like kind of an angel tree, the branches contains tags with gift lists for children and adults in our community. Simply select a tag from one of the several locations, the Cabarrus County Governmental Center in downtown Concord, and the Concord and Mount Pleasant Senior Centers in Concord, Kannapolis, Mount Pleasant, Harrisburg of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Unwrapped presents are due back by Tuesday, December the 10th to the location where the gift tag was taken. For more information on the Wendy Ganey Memorial Tree Program, just contact Laura Hatley at 704-920-2568 or visit cabarruscounty.us. There's a wonderful program that was put in place by our Board of Commissioners many, many years ago, and that's the Food for Fines program, and that begins on Monday, December 2nd, and will go through December 16th, and that's at all the Cabarrus County Library locations. Again, that's Concord, Harrisburg, Mount Pleasant, and Kannapolis. Pay your fines if you have overdue fines or anything along those lines with non-perishable canned or packaged uh, food, and they must not be out of date as well. Each item is worth up to two dollars in fines. Items may be donated to cover fines only, not lost or damaged items. All donations will be given to local food banks. For more information on the Food for Fines Drive beginning Monday, December 2nd through Monday, December 16th at all Cabarrus County Public Library branches, call 704-920-2050 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash library. In observance of Thanksgiving, Cabarrus County is going to close the County Landfill, Department of Human Services, Senior Centers, and the Cabarrus County Governmental Center. They'll be closed on Thursday, November the 28th, and on Friday, November the 29th. Now, all law library branches will also be closed on Thursday, November the 28th, through Saturday, November the 30th. The Cabarrus County Landfill, located at 4441 Irish Potato Road, will open on Saturday, November the 30th, from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. North Cabarrus Park, Camp Spencer, and Frank Liss Park will close on Thursday, November the 28th, and be open on Friday, November the 29th, from 8 a.m. till 5 p.m. Now, I know we've had a lot of different information on today's show. We've seen a lot of things. If you missed any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarruscounty.us, and you'll see a search box, put in your topic, You'll get your information, but if you have any problems, just pop us an email at channel22 cabarruscounty.us. And did you get your email this week? Did you check and see our newsletter in there? If not, you've got to sign up for it. It's so easy. Just go to the home page of our website, click on the type top right, fill out some information, it'll come to you once a week. And we also want you to follow us on Facebook at Cabarrus County and Twitter, which is at Cabarrus County as well. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, or maybe you just want to watch our programs when you have a chance, just go to CabarrusCounty.us and scroll down. In the lower left, you'll see a video screen. And right below that, it says More Channel 22 Programs. Click on that. And all the different thumbnails of all the shows that we do pop up. Cabarrus This Week, Historical Moments. Again, we've got 
Perfect pet for you, some new ones, really cute animals, all kinds of good stuff coming up. And I tell you what, if you've never been, I mean, Rowan Cabarrus Community College does such a great job, has such an impact in our area. And I tell you what, the campuses are really, really nice. This is the first time I've been to the, the part with the research campus, North Carolina Research, and it is really, really nice. Well, and the investment they're making in the community from oh. race car professions, biotech professions, and giving you a head start so you can get that four-year college degree starting in high school. Right. You can work on your college degree starting in high school. Great programs. Check them out. And until next week, you have a great one. Take care.